tram is giving me grief. Tried several different things here. I mean, uh, let me cut this piece off without taking the strip off. Three tape measures, one to leave outside and I don't know if this camera's looking over here, but I got this side done. Just get a big face plate, you won't see any of that stuff. So let me get that cut. I already forgot what it was. You know, a little pen of paper, one and three quarters by 13. All right. Dogs gotta start barking. All right, now we've got both sides of them walls done. Tomorrow I will be going to get screws uh, so I can do the bottoms of the stairs under there and get all them straight. I, I was started trimming on the stairs and I, then I realized it's probably gonna change, so I uh, put a stop to that. We'll get that done tomorrow, but we're just about ready to get up there and do the finishing touches and, and get things put up. All right, this skull, I am tired of moving it around here to there. So I'm going to go outside, get the big extension ladder. And we're going to hang that dude right up there. Actually, when I first bought the place, I had it up. Well, I had the one that's outside up there, but I'm going to put the ladder up, climb up there, and uh, hang him up so he's out of the way. Make sure he's tied up real good so he won't fall. Uh, I'll have a, a video on in case, in case the ladder collapse. <laughs> we'll get that filmed, then that'll get some views. Right, let me wrestle that big dude in here. It ain't fun.
All right, guys, I'm gonna climb up there. Let me get this ladder footed properly. Oh, don't tell me this ladder's upside down. No, it ain't. Alright. Put a screw gun and nail. Alright. Now I just gotta find a screw. center. Show was over. All right, boy. 
a lot of struggle to get that ladder in and out. Man, that's why I don't do it very much. But and we got that thing out of the way. It's not going not gonna to be banging on stuff now. But these uh, ceilings from, from floor to ceiling is 24 feet. So that's quite a stretch up there. And man, let me tell you, that ladder, <laughs> it's fiberglass and if you don't have long sleeves on when you're handling that ladder, you're going to itch for two days. So, all right. I, I did, just didn't really do a whole lot here today. I just, you know, what we got to do on this part is go across with the board. And I'd like this to be, let me show you over here. Oh, I got things on the step, not very smart. So, this is going to need a piece across the top. Okay, if they, if, you know, if, if there wasn't steps where you could see that or upstairs, I wouldn't even bother with it because you can't see it from below. But it needs to be filled in. We got a much bigger gap here. But this is going to have some electrical in it. Probably this too. So I will figure that out. But we did today. Got this side buttoned up. I got to get a faceplate for this electrical outlet. I kind of had to piece that in, but it, it looks fine. It's covered. So now both sides of the walls are covered. And here's what we got here. This little useless area. <laughs> I'm going to probably, like I did on the pantry, make a little, uh, a little rail here with slats to go across here and here. I don't know, put some kind of statue or cactuses or something in there. That would actually look cool to have a little fake uh, planter box with cactuses in it right there. Yeah, they certainly couldn't be real ones. There's no sunlight here, really. Uh, and they need that. So, I don't know. Anybody knows where you can get fake cactuses? Well, let me know, because I think that'd probably be cool. But <laughs> as long as they weren't sharp. Of course, I'm going to have a little rail up on them. I don't know what I'll come up with. Uh, I laid my arm into that earlier. My whole forearm went inside one of those nails. That felt good. Yes, I've had my tetanus shot. But I know it's dark. I don't have a light with me. I'll try to do this on editing. We've got this buttoned up around here pretty decent. That's as good as it's going to get. So now you can see the transition from that board and batten to that. And uh, that's good enough for me. Looks like I need a piece of trim straight up that rail. We can handle that. And these are probably going to get a little bit more small trim. I don't know. I got that trim on there. And see here, I started going around the steps. But I'm going to wait because I'm going to be pulling these steps. You know, they, the measurements can change. So I stopped right there. And... Uh, We'll just get that after I do the steps. So anyway, the struggle is still going on. But we are slowly getting there. And I, and I can't wait to get these painted or figure out something that I'm going to do on them. Uh, but we're getting there. Problem is, you know, let me turn this. Uh... Problem is, this time of year, you know, I don't usually get out there till, but before it starts, you know, warming up enough to do it, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, and work a couple hours, I feed the dogs about 1.32, get them fed, uh, I'm going to work a little bit more today, but it's just, you know, not a lot of daylight in the winter, but we're going to get it done, you look back there, it's, it's coming along, so... And I do want to get on these cabinets, these, this, let me back up here. Whoa, I'm taking a chance walking backwards in this place. I want to get these, I, I got all the hardware and everything to finish these up. I need to get them, it was kind of good I waited, because now they're shutting easier. And they're going, you know, this wood's had time to, to dry up a little, and there's some that need adjustments. I'm still going to take that bottom one off and turn it around the other way. But I've got some really nice handles for them, and I'm going to put the rest of this hardware on, and uh, we'll get that project done. Uh, I kind of put this on the back burner to do the stairs. So, 
All right, let me see what else I can get done today. It's not going to be a very long video, I imagine. All right. All right, it's going to get really cold tonight. So I'm going to go over my truck. I already checked the uh, bar steering fluid. It needs some. But I want to check the radiator. Uh, about four years ago, replaced the whole intake manifold. It's got new gaskets. The water pump was replaced. This has a very tiny leak. Wow, that didn't even didn't fill it, but it's enough. Power steering pump, but it's a job to get this one off. Serpentine belts probably do. It is just starting to get crackage, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace that this week. I need to see what I got in here. Well, it's low for one thing. I smell antifreeze. I hate to put any water in there. I don't have a choice. Well, I do have a choice. I'll stop at O'Reilly's tomorrow and uh, get some more antifreeze. I don't know how low that dude is, but it's, it's good. Battery's fairly new. Oil's about due for change. He's good. Smells good. Don't smell no antifreeze or gas in there. And this has got 274,000 miles on this motor. You know, I've had to do minimal things to it. Uh, brake fluid, I know it's good. Clutch fluid. Uh, it's been a good motor. I can't see the freeze plugs under there. They're in the way. I'm sure they're fine. But I haven't had much trouble out of this. Alright guys, just doing the winter check. Seven Chevy, man. Go for it. 